Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rocks Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids way out in the wild uh, space, where we've been taking 17 duplicates now into the future as comfortably as possible, and the comfortably involves a whole bunch of radiation. Of course, the uh, research reactor is currently turned off because we need to get in here and we need to fix this. There are a few tweaks that need to be made just to make sure our research reactor can run well. Last time we managed to get it running up for an entire cycle and I observed, I went, yes, there are things that we need to change here. So we restricted the fuel supply and we're waiting for the whole thing to cool down just a little bit so that we can send duplicates in. To be able to do that, we need to uh, not use the uh, setup I've got here. I must have saved it at a weird time. But in fact, we need to come through here and make ourselves some lead suits. Let's have a look down in the, I think it's stations tab. Down the bottom we've got a lead suit dock and a lead suit checkpoint. I want to pop one of these just down here and we don't have the room because I think there is a water weed back there. A little bit of plant life back there. Uh, I'm just going to take that entire row out. Maybe fill this in up here. Have ourselves a nice little contained unit. Maybe move the ladder back and we'll have, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that as we go. Uh, that's going to take us a few minutes to get going and I believe I've got this door currently locked to not let anybody in there because it's 150 degrees centigrade right now and uh, duplicate or human that's too hot to uh, to survive in where where are my duplicates they're all around somewhere uh, there we have Chandra Hubble uh, there, there's people going around doing stuff let's also go and have a look and play Axelin because this place this place needs to get all of the lava out of here we've been dealing with it for far too long now and really the only thing that's holding us back is the fact that uh, Rutherford our, in our only real rancher that we have uh, does is the only person who can go around and dig obsidian if we have a look in the skills tab up the here and uh, let's find the correct rock it is reversing at the top uh, we can see that nobody nobody has any of uh, digging skills other than a Rutherford I wonder if we can change that because um, Franklin here is someone who does a lot of work for us and I, I think maybe we're just gonna go ahead and do this and then she should be able to go around and do all of that stuff beautiful beautiful uh, I, I hope that's now fairly high let's errands rather than okay they are low down on the list of jobs let's have a look and see what she's doing lots of construction digs okay so, suddenly all the jobs are available and she's just gonna go around and do them all okay that that's fine I'm actually about this oh you're gonna do this one this this has been here for months <laughs> Back over to Iragao. Let's see what jobs are being taken care of over here. Any, anybody? We'll zoom in and out. Let's, let's, let's calm down a little bit. Let's calm down a little bit. Uh, I don't see anybody taking care of the jobs that we need to be done over here. Now, it's normally Spitzer that's taking control. So, uh, let's follow Cat. No. Yes. Okay, this this is acceptable. We shall wait. <laughs> These rad bolt generators are literally going to melt okay all right well i i, I just i just don't get it i <laughs> there's there's what, what am i doing wrong here so the wiki says the middle panel is the one that shares okay well I, all right let, let's try ripping these down and moving them all over one that that might but no not you you're the <laughs> rad bolt generator let, let's try that as well again we're gonna have to wait for spitzer i think but hey at least this isn't a uh, radiated hellscape no that's not the radiate this this one i mean it's pretty bad Bad, but nowhere near as bad as when the, uh, the reactor was running. Okay, Spitz is going to jump up any moment. Let's go back to reverse and see what Franklin's doing. Uh, you are very busy, possibly at jobs I would rather you weren't busy at. No, I think I think we're okay actually. I think we're okay. I'm a little bit worried if they just decide to start digging through random lava pockets. I hopefully, I've put the, the priority orders down in the right order and uh, everything that needs to happen in certain orders has been done well like that, I hope. I mean, it's all construction digs, so I'm assuming that the things that need to be taken out are tiles and she'll just replace the tile as soon as it's been dug, which, which would be fine. I am more than in agreement with this. 
Okay, Spitzer's on the loose, so we can say goodbye to a few of these conduction panels. I've noticed I've made them out of lead. I probably don't want to do that. Uh, let's try making it out of gold instead. Uh, and here? Is, is this where... Oh, we can't put it down there because of the piping. Uh, we need to put one across like that. I know that much. Can I make this a nine? And then we'll have a look at the piping that's left over. Uh, thankfully, this can all just get destroyed. And we'll, we'll put it back in a second. We'll put it back in... Oh. Oh, he, he needs some oxygen. I suppose that's fine. Maybe one day the secrets of the conduction panel will be open to me and I'll be able to master the uh, the temperature of buildings out in the vacuum of space where there's no gas to swap the temperatures back and forth with. I'm hoping one day I'll learn this skill. And I'm hoping this is the project that teaches me that. Oh, I got it. All right, I got it. So the, these front bits here, the bits that aim... Oh, I should, I should probably explain why I'm trying to do this because obviously like if, if you have these buildings out in the middle of nowhere they will produce heat uh, and then you've got to kind of guess which one is uh, which tile is producing heat is it this bottom bit or is it that top bit turns out I got it wrong on all three counts here uh, but now the temperature is very much dropping on this red bolt generator so yay we, we got a thing fixed I'm all about that uh, how are we doing with the uh, with the digging right now we're kind of not okay I assume that's the next... Yeah, good work, good work, Spitzer. Okay, that's the next thing. Once we get through here, I also need to rip down these ladders because there's not room uh, for what we need to build. Uh, I'm going to leave these for a little bit because I believe everybody else should go around and do some stuff. Oh, wait, do we have uh, the next person in the triage cot? No, not at the moment. Let's go with Compton. They're all just a little bit beaten up, and I'm not sure why. Why whilst... Yeah, I was going to say whilst Compton was in there, I'm going to upgrade his bedroom. But hey, that's that's not his bedroom. Which one's his bed? This one here. Let's upgrade the bedroom. Oh, this is good. Now that Franklin is running away, uh, running around with the skills, all I need to do is, dig, uh, is put down some orders like this put down some deconstruct orders like this and then I'll go back to uh, to Irigao and see what's going on over there and but by the time I'm done looking at all this lot I should imagine what well, we got yellow red alert right now oh, of course we're building bedrooms uh, by the time we're done here I, I'm sure uh, Franklin will be done what are we waiting for this to be finished okay Chandra's on it right now okay so all the bedrooms are good back to reverse Lynn I mean she she knocked a few down okay fair enough Whilst we watch at least one group of duplicants do what I expect them to do, I'd like to take this moment right here and thank the people who keep me doing what I'm supposed to do. That's right, my Patreons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that got along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on smoothly into the future. Once again, the demands of university life are leaving me a little bit short on time for oxygen not included, but I want to make sure that I fulfill my promises to all of these people out here and indeed have some fun whilst I'm doing it. So for that and so much other forms of support, I would like to take this moment and say thank you. Thank you so very much, guys. It's only with your help that I can actually do this. I don't know, you can't even leave a time-lapse recording for five minutes without these duplicants getting themselves in some sort of trouble here. I just went to go make a tea. Spitzer, what has happened here? How have you even ended up? Did you climb down the ladder? Did you dig under the floor? I, I don't know. Duplicants, man, you cannot trust them. Uh, I guess Spitzer is the one complaining about the toilets. Pop teardrum. I mean, can you breathe here? There is, there is stuff. Okay, I think, I think we can leave you. We complained enough until morning, so you, you could probably figure out your own way. I've got a feeling we probably want to turn up the uh, priorities on these. Do we need Hubble for those? Oh, that is a big, big, big load. Uh, let's let's do that and see if uh, he'll turn around and dig. Okay, uh, Spitzer. It's a current element. That, that, that's good. If you could just free yourself and get to whatever personal needs it is that you have right now, like that's that's good. Good good work, Spitzer. I'm sorry for your terrible night. I really should have been observing everything. But hey, at least at least Franklin did the job over here, right? Yeah, okay, that, that's good. I'm not sure what I'm going to do once we've crushed this magma all the way down. I want to try and figure out if we can... Do you reckon we could just skim some layers off the top here? I don't think we're going to be able to, to expose it all properly. Yeah, I don't, I don't know I don't know what we're going to do here, but I will, I will sit and think about it for a couple of moments. 
Wait, what is what is what is this path that we've got here? <laughs> oh no! All right, so uh, I've just watched Boar come in through here, climb up, up and over, and then wait. Okay, uh, I need to deconstruct this, and I, I need Boar to be the one deconstructing it. Uh, planks there. Let's move you over this way. Uh, who's next? Is it is it Boar? Okay, Boar. If if you could destroy that for me, that would be great. And then we'll not let. Pe oh, there's going to be another pathway through here as well, isn't there? Okay, let's deconstruct construct that as well and get bored to destroy that i think that's then a nice closed system again and this door now controls whether they can go through okay that that that's better i'm sorry to have messed you around there Bo, but uh you, you kind of needed to have not done that Okay, that, that was 45 minutes of my life that really should probably have only been 20. Okay, let, let's try and get ourselves some lead soup docks in here. I'm not making them out of leather. That might know, though. We're making them out of gold. That's good. Uh, I'd like to put a couple in here. I don't know how many we're actually going to be able to have. There are only four duplicates living on this rock, so uh, may, maybe we don't need quite as many as we've got. We need to somehow hook them up to the power. This, this is already quite an oversubscribed line. Let's think about how we can reshuffle. Yeah, there's, there's definitely something we can do here. We uh, serendipitously had exactly the right amount of, well, close enough to exactly the right amount of lead to build the three lead suits that I had uh, accounted for here. That's pretty good. No no planning went into that at all. Just chose those numbers randomly. Uh, I am going to have to maybe deconstruct this and allow my duplicates away up and down here. You never know when access will be needed. In fact, let's take that all the way down to the floor. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, just got some power to be put in. And then we need to try and figure out how we're going to run any oxygen in into here. I mean, there's here's an oxygen line. May, maybe we'll just take off of here something like this. I mean, it's not an ideal solution, but it is a solution. So maybe, oh, stop, stop, stop. So maybe we'll take that, uh, leave that that uh, hydrogen in the middle there, though. Scolding? What? What? What's going on? Why is it scolding down here? We should just be making some refined carbon because it turns out that that's why we're not making steel because we haven't got any refined carbon. We got so much everything. I thought it was, I thought it was lime. We were uh, restricted by no, no. We got tons and tons of lime. Uh, another thing that I'm doing, uh, I've noticed that these are slightly too hot. They're they're about 100 degrees. Uh, so we're going through and trying to make that not so. I should imagine it's going to lead to a few more scoldings, and we're definitely going to have to try and figure out how to get water water into the line, but that shouldn't be too difficult. Minimal casualties, minimal casualties. I mean, people are barely down half health here. I think that's fine. Look, Boar is as fresh as a daisy. Every, everything's working out incredibly well here. Uh, okay, so once this has all been built, which uh, is going to be finished very, very shortly, we now need to figure out how to connect all this up together. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and just immediately connect these and break the line here. Uh, we'll let this flow and then I'll see where I can get water to jump onto this very, very empty section of pipe. Oh, it was, it was just down here where, where I've been putting water into the system for ages now. Okay, fine. One of my top questions, of course, is are we going to be able to pass the water through here without it turning into steam? I'm not entirely sure. That's that's quite hot so far. We've got 80 degree water, 89 degree water. Ooh. 91 99 looks to be holding at 99 okay that that's all right i can live with that and then where's the gap down here oh it's still traveling okay that's that's fine i'm gonna just start putting water in and ooh, not like that i won't uh, i'm just gonna start putting water in and we'll uh we'll, we'll split it when the two two bits meet Okay, the system did cost us a little bit of hospital time, but we've got an incredibly full water line here, and of course we are now making more igneous rock all the time. Always after igneous rock for my hatches, my hatches to make coal so we can make refined carbon, so we can make steel, and of course not just steel, so that we can send our diamond probe off to the wilds of space so they can go and uh, get us a bunch of cobalt. Cobalt ore is what we're getting here. Also a bunch of polluted dirt and mud, uh, but you know, they've just been sat here for 
for some time. I don't even know if we've got a polluted... We've got 24 tonnes of polluted oxygen, 6.5 and 50 tonnes of... Wow, that's, that's a lot of stuff right there that I should probably deal with. But you know what? We've got a much more important thing to be doing right now. Indeed, the uh, lead suits are all up and running, so I think I'm going to give people access to the uh, reactor core again. As you can see, all of these are lit up. Uh, I'm asking for some liquid vents to be taken down. I'm asking for the cold water to be dumped on top of my thermal aqua tuna, which we've turned... Oh, no, wrong button. Which we've turned off. Oh, it turns out pulling up the uh, the power line took a little bit of time. There. I, I wonder if that means my power line is too complicated. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. A anyway, I've disconnected the power uh, because, well, I was a little bit worried that we were just warming up the steam forever here and we weren't able to deal with it. I mean, the fact that this nuclear waste down is still down the bottom is a little bit of trouble. Uh, I've also noticed, wait, 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 we need to go six. Yeah, look look at that. We need to cut this like this. Okay, that that's cool. And deconstruct. We had to move everything over just a little bit here. Uh, I still don't know what I'm going to do with the nuclear waste. Okay, the lead suit is in effect. This is great. I think possibly the first lead suit I've ever had any of my duplicates wear. So th th this is good. This is good. I'm a little bit worried about the water that fills up into this little gap here, but I'm sure once the petroleum hits, uh, I mean, it's 102 degrees. If we can get it up to 103 degrees, then everything will just flash into steam instantly. And that, that will also be pretty good. We've already taken down all of the, uh, the, the liquid out output vents there so we need to go a few go ahead and get the new ones put into place but I'm also I really want to get these therm thermal temperature shift plates here uh, so that we can start spreading the heat from our nuclear waste which uh, a little birdie on the internet tells me this is going to be the thing that actually contributes most of the heat the uh, the hot water that gets dumped out of here is hot don't get me wrong but it's going to be nothing compared to the accumulated heat that we end up from uh, end up getting from this nuclear uh, liquid nuclear waste Wow, that was a mouthful. So spreading the heat out a little bit more evenly, I think would be a, uh, a good plan. A very good plan. Okay, the plan with the nuclear waste at the moment, and it's not a good plan, but it is a plan, is to dump it here on this specific tile. So I'm going to go around and uh, reroute the cooling loop here so that this red bolt generator can pick up all the radiation that's coming off of it. And then when there's so much, it will just disappear into the vacuum of space. Eventually, I'm probably going to put it into like some sort of storage mechanism and then have a red bolt generator next to that. And then, then we've got like infinite uh, amounts of radiation. Uh, I'm also told it works out really really well as a coolant situation. It, it's got a huge specific heat capacity. Let's have a look down here. Uh, 7.44, which is ridiculous. For most of the time, I've been thinking that water... I can't, I can't find it here. I've been thinking that water is the uh, material that I have access to with the highest specific heat capacity. Uh, well, let's get down to the details here. Uh, and it's only on 4.19, which is uh, a little bit less for than the uh, 7. Quite, quite a lot less, actually. Less than half. So we could store a lot more heat per blob in the liquid waste than we can in the water. So maybe we'll use it for that at some point, somewhere, somehow. I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys think. But for now, I don't... I, I just, can we get these done, please? And maybe this door as well. The, the, this, this is all good thing. Uh, I'm putting this door here so the water doesn't end up on top of the petroleum and uh, hopefully doesn't end up like squishing everything back or anything. I, I, I don't know what would be the bad thing that could happen here, but I feel like a door might be able to help out. Maybe the door will actually be worse and end up squishing liquids down. Well, no, well hold on. Wait and see. We'll see what happens. Okay, the door went in place and nothing got squished down. That's good, that's good. The next thing we need to do is build this entire pipeline. I've disconnected this bunch, so that should all be working fine now. we just got to wait for a whole bunch of obsidian and such forth. I'm uh, going to ask everybody to get to it. If, if, we, if we left it as it was, Spitzer would take two days for it. But if we go ahead and uh, tell everyone to panic about it, it'll only take maybe half a cycle. Okay, we've got some water being dropped on this, but I believe it's overheat temperature is uh, pretty pretty low, really. Oh, no, 325. Okay, that, that's fine. As long as we can keep below that 300, then we should be fine. We've picked up all the nuclear waste. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good. Okay, we've got 160 degrees steam and the thermal aqua tuna is now coming down to that temperature. Okay, that's good. I think I think we can fire this switch up. Uh, that should then mean that this fires up and puts in some um, uh, materials into the reactor. The reactor's going to fire back up and I'm going to bring this active time to about there and we should watch it pick up some more fuel very very shortly okay this this is really good look at all the radiation going well going fine i think we've achieved all our eight where 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 are you going hubble 
I don't think you should be... No, I don't know. I think you're okay. We definitely do have to worry about that. Wait. No. No, 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 no. Okay, so that's a problem. Whilst the reactor's running, I cannot let them in there, it turns out. Okay, bad, bad luck, Hubble. You're going... You're not going to get through that door. Stop. 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 I'm not going to... I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to let you. Yeah, only access allowed back in. You should be putting stuff into here, though. I wonder why not. Because it's far too low a priority for you. Okay, well, that that's fine. It is in your list somewhere. We've got farming supplies, power supply to research reactor. No, you, you should not be doing that. The, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll just... Oh. oh, I thought I clicked on this door. Maybe we'll just completely hold off here. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try that. And may, maybe that has now stopped him. Hubble, Hubble where are you? Let's uh, have a look. Follow the cam. Um... Okay, I don't see it there anymore. This is good. Now we're about to dump some materials out of the research reactor. We've got some water that it's uh, rather warm. Uh, but more importantly, we've got this liquid nuclear waste, which also is going to be coming out about 300 degrees. One of the reasons that I've got these temperature shift plates is to try and get the temperature out of this nuclear waste as fast as possible. Seems to be holding up well for us. Seems to be holding up well. As well as the thermal aqua tuner. I only got the one steam, steam turbine turning on, despite the fact that these plates go all the way up here. I assume that's just temperature limited let's uh let's watch this for the evening and see if anything explodes it's kind of tempting to put another thermo sensor down somewhere about here so if we go above 300 degrees we can toggle this the state i think i think that would be pretty good though we seem to be holding steady and with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i'll see you guys and next time where i think it's rockets time i think i think we're about to go and explore the world well the universe with more rockets we've got access to better equipment oh look we've our rocket has returned we've got a whole a bunch of um payloads being fired back and forth and it's time for us to get our teeth back into that vacuum so i'll see you then when we're gonna do that Bye.